Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I have shrimp scampi. It's one of my all time favorites. Now we are going to be making a very quick shrimp stock. I know that puts a lot of people off, but just like when I did my quick pickle, it is quick. Five, 10 minutes tops, and it is delicious. You can serve it over rice. You can have it with pasta, however you want. First things first, now that we know what we're doing, let's gather our ingredients. I have one and a half pounds of jumbo shrimp. They are peeled and deveined, and I've removed the shell. Now, if you get them frozen, it's fine. Thaw them out in water, all that jazz. Save the shells. Mine already were peeled and deveined, but they left the tails on. Take the tails off. We're gonna use these to build the sauce. If you have ones that have the full shell on, save the shell. We're gonna use it to make the stock. They're a little bit more work because you gotta peel them, devein them, all that jazz. If you go my route, save these tails, we're still gonna make a fantastic shrimp stock that'll be the base for our uh, sauce. So you're gonna need some cornstarch. You can use some crushed red pepper. I'm gonna use a little bit of Aleppo, you know me. Lemons. You're gonna need some parsley. You're gonna need a bunch of garlic. You're gonna need some thyme. You're gonna need a little clam juice. Now, I don't have all those shells, so I'm gonna use a little bit of clam juice. I also have a nice white wine. Sauvignon Blanc works perfect. I have a Chablis and a Sancerre. I'm a sucker for both. You want something dry, white, goes well with fish. These are perfect. You're also gonna need a little bit of olive oil and a teeny bit of salt, not much. I'm gonna try and season to taste at the end. Shrimp are already high in salt, as is clam juice. So I'm not gonna be seasoning it throughout the recipe. Oh, I totally forgot butter as an ingredient. How could I forget butter? First things first, I am going to get a hard sear on the shrimp. One side, I'm gonna take them out of the pan and then I'm gonna build the sauce get them in there. You can sit them on the counter, you can refrigerate them, whatever you feel comfortable with doing. All right, I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of oil. I got a non-stick skillet, it doesn't matter. It can be regular, it can be non-stick, whatever you want. Let's get this going, high heat. While that's heating up, I'm gonna get some lemon juice. I'm gonna start with three tablespoons. You can add more as needed. I'd prefer to add more rather than add too much at the start. So let's get about three tablespoons here. Probably gonna be about two lemons. And I'll save these in case I need extra. Our oil is hot, I can smell it. Let's get these shrimp in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them, I'm gonna toss them in the coat, get them into an even layer, sear them off for about two minutes, try and get some color on them, then get them out. I'm also just patting them dry. I'm just gonna sear them for about two minutes, get them off. I think if you use smaller shrimp, like medium or large, I would avoid this step. These are jumbo shrimp, they can take the sear. Anything smaller, you're gonna overcook. We got it done, I'm taking them off, putting them on my plate, setting them aside. All right, let's build that sauce. First, we have to toast up the shrimp shells. So let's add a tablespoon of oil. I'm adding my shrimp shells. I'm just gonna cook them between two and five minutes, medium heat. Try and get them red and maybe a little spotty. Meanwhile, let's open this. Gotta make sure it's good, right? And now it's time for the thyme sprigs. Just a handful, five. And the wine, you're gonna wanna put about two cups in. I'm gonna carefully pour this in. All right, I got about two cups of wine there. I'm also going to add my bottle of clam juice, which is eight fluid ounces. So we got about three cups total of liquid here. Crank the heat, bring it up to a simmer. You want to cook it for about five minutes. This is a very short stock. Any longer, you're talking like 15 minutes, start losing some of that shrimpy fish flavor that you want. Once it's at a simmer, drop the heat down to medium low, simmer gently five minutes. Meanwhile, while that's going, you're gonna want a whole bunch of garlic. I wanna say 12 garlic cloves, slice them thin. Next up, I'm just gonna do a little parsley. This is traditional. A little bit of that vegetal freshness in there. Also, while we're waiting for my three tablespoons of lemon juice, I am going to add maybe about four teaspoons cornstarch. Let's try and whisk this together as best you can. Get a nice little lemon slurry here. This whole thing is gonna go in. It's gonna thicken our sauce up and give it a nice glisten. We've hit the five minute mark. I am going to strain out shrimp stock to a fine mesh strainer into a bowl. I'm just gonna wipe this dry with paper towels. We got our nice shrimp stock here. Should probably have maybe two cups worth here, maybe a teeny bit more. We started with three. You're gonna lose about 30% of that. But look how cloudy it is. That means we have a really flavorful shrimp stock here. Next up, guess what? More olive oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add my garlic and I'm just gonna heat it on medium low heat and I bring it up and gently cook this garlic. 
All right, we got a little sizzle. You're gonna wanna cook these for about two to three minutes, depending on how thinly you slice them and how evenly. If you add crushed red pepper here or any sort of spice, this is the place to do it. I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon. I don't wanna make it really spicy, but I do wanna give it a little bit of that kind of like chili depth, just a little bit. It smells amazing. The Aleppo, the garlic, the oil, it's hitting me. All right, we got about another minute left. All right, I'm looking for a little browning around the edges. I'm not seeing it yet, so 30 seconds. All right, we are right there. Time to add the wine mixture back. Here we go. Bellissimo. Bring this up to a simmer, and now it's time for the shrimp. We seared it in the beginning. We might lose some of that browning as it kind of gets absorbed into the sauce. That's fine. That's really going to add a bunch of flavor. We have it at a simmer, so now it's time to add the shrimp. Any accumulated juices, get them in there as well. Now we're going to cover this, reduce the heat. We're gonna gently poach that shrimp through. You want them cooked through. It's gonna take three minutes, probably three to five, depending on the size of your shrimp. All right, let's check on these puppies. There we go, look at that. Poaching through nice and gently. Let's start to remove the shrimp. They are done. Now we have to finish our sauce. I know it's hard because you wanna finish it before you add the shrimp, but do it this way, please. It is time for our cornstarch slurry, cornstarch lemon juice. We're gonna go in. And thicken it up. Gotta cook it for about a minute. I'm gonna taste it just for uh, salt and seasoning here. I'm gonna put a teeny bit of salt in, maybe a quarter teaspoon. We got a good consistency, I think, here almost. Yeah, this is nice. Time for the butter. I am going to add, I wanna say four tablespoons, but I don't feel like that's enough. So let's go with eight. When you add your butter, swirl. Give it a taste. I think it needs a little bit more hit of lemon. As anticipated, I'm probably gonna add about one more tablespoon of lemon juice in here. All right, off heat, I have the consistency I want. Look at this delicious sauce. And now it's time, a little fresh parsley. All right, let's plate it. Now I just so happen to have some rice, which I saved and heated up. All right, sit, what do you think? Boy, touch, all right. You approve? All right, here it goes. I'm just gonna try a piece of shrimp here. Mm-hmm. No surprise, full of shrimp flavor. I love it. It's coated in that delicious sauce. A little bit of that butter, that lemon, really enhances that shrimp flavor. Tender, juicy. This isn't overcooked. I need a little bit of the garlic. It's so tame. We tamed that garlic down. Look at this rice, it soaked up all that sauce. The beauty of the recipe is how quick it comes together how delicious it is. Yes, it's a little bit hands-on. And you do a little bit more dishes, so it's a little compromise. Less cooking time, a little bit more dishes, but it's worth it. I love it, I can't say enough. That was shrimp scampi. Super quick, super delicious. Absolute one of my top favorite weeknight meals. If you like what you saw, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Twitch. I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope to see you next time. Take care.